Space, 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 space. We're beginning to put the first piece of meat into the oil. Now we're putting the second one in the oil. This is part two of Chocolate Almond Ra cooking for his wife. Now remember I told you a long time ago. All, all my um, videos is not going to be based on this show. I want you to show you the authentic of, of who I am. I want y'all to see it. I want you to get to know me. You got the pork chop here. Now it's getting to his fry. There's your corn in the car. Here's your potato. Get this down. I just want to make sure that the um, stove was on. So don't forget that. Sometimes we have a tendency to forget. Okay? So, this is part two of Chocolate Amara cooking for his wife. I told you it's more than just going out. You can go out anytime, that's easy. I've took my wife out wherever she wanted, whatever restaurant she wanted. We, 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 you know what I'm saying? We went to Atlantic City. We want to go to Las Vegas, that's my thing. But I know where she want to go, I've done a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? BBQs, uh, Applebee's, uh, whatever group, resident, um, Juniors, uh, we went to Bobby Vans. Um, Whatever restaurant we go to, she went, we went to um, this game shop up, up there over there by 42nd Street. Whatever she want. You understand? We understand. And, and, you know, we get in the car, we go wherever we want. Like that. So, sometimes my wife likes to be home and relax. You know what I'm saying? And this is what I do. I happen to know how to cook. Okay? So, you ask yourself these questions. Oh, sorry, forgot to tell you. So, the first batch is almost done. It doesn't take long for the um, pork chop to cook. But you want to cook it like at least six to, two, six to eight minutes. Flip it. Okay? Take the first batch out. I'm using a plastic fork. Soups. <laughs> Sometimes it can wear you out. I gotta keep it real, y'all. At times it can wear you out. But, um, let you know, I just got the word from the wifey that she wanted some of it fried and she wants some of it in the oven. So you're going to see it. I'm going to show you right now some of the pork chops in the oven. I'm going to show you that. So I just took the recipe in the oven because she said she wants some of it in the oven. See that? So, you got different kinds of flavors that's going on. Some in the oven, some in the... She want to fry. Just to give you an insight. So, this is Chocolate Almond Raw. This is cooking. Corn in the cob is done, y'all. Let that butter sit in there. 
Well, listen. I'll take pictures. And um, I'll show you in the end. When the food is gone, I mean done, I'll do a small little video. Maybe just take pictures like that at the end. But this is Chocolate Amaral letting you know. If you think I can't cook, fooling yourself. Showed you, prepped, and put in that work. So, what more to say? It's almost done. Food in the oven. Food on top of the, the stove. Potatoes is almost done. We probably got another half an hour. Listen here. All I'm going to do is say is this. Treat your woman like gold. If you have more than one woman, treat them all like gold. I have to see that. Some spiritual brothers have more than one woman. However, if you have more than one wife, more than one woman, treat them with respect and honor. Because a lot of you don't know about ancient history. A lot of you don't know about some people have more than one wife. Some people have more than one woman. And we can't make it look like our way is better than their way. Nah, because you got a lot of single pe people who, who come from a relationship that's been destroyed for dishonesty. And when you're dishonest, this needs to happen. I'm not telling you do what I do. I'm telling you treat your woman with respect and honor. And try to be as honest as possible. Sometimes they don't like it. But it's best for everybody. Pay attention. Sometimes they don't like it. But you give them a choice. You give them a choice to make a decision. And be respectful about it. You understand? Because too many of you are very, very, very selfish. You're so selfish you don't even know why you do the things you do. Here's your pork chop. Here's your pork chop. I really wanted to show you that because I'll let you know that I finished the two that was in that grease. So, go into the oven. They'll be done. We gotta let them cook for a little longer. All right? Now what you're gonna see me do, food is 99.9% .9 done. Potatoes is done. So now what you're gonna see me do is clean the stove. You see me cleaning the stove. Tell me I don't like cleaning your stove after you cook. <laughs> That's a fact. Don't lie to me. Some of you don't like cleaning your stove. Okay. You probably clean your stove after. But well, let me tell you something. The best time to clean your stove when it's still stove is still hot. I know a lot of people are like, oh, I don't want to do that until after I get finished. No, clean your stove after you finish cooking. Because the stove is still hot, the grease and everything that's still there, okay, literally, it's still there. And guess what? You know, you want to clean all your stuff. You understand? This is here. I'm Chocolate Amaral. This is what I do. Ain't no shame in my game. I want y'all to see these videos. But some people tell me, oh, because some of y'all just write things down and, I mean, type things up. No, I don't want to, that's not how to mess up. Me as a messenger, I don't 
don't represent myself. You just only see me posting and doing things like that. I want you to say everything about me. That's why you see me like I do videos in the shower. Not because I want you to see me want my chest out or anything like that. No. I do these things. I want you to see me authentically. Authentically, I want you to see me, who I am. You know what I'm saying? You see my kitchen. You see my stove. You understand? You see the things over there. You understand? You see my kitchen, my refrigerator, my garbage can. You understand? You see that? See? That's called authentic. It's not make believe. This is reality. And some of y'all need to grow up. You know what I'm saying? Be a man. Be a man. Be a goddess, a king, God, whatever you're supposed to be. Do what you're supposed to do. Some of y'all flush your oil in this in the toilet. I don't do that. I turn the hot water on and let it do its thing. That's what I do. Hot water keeps the oil loose. And you keep, you keep, um... And what you keep, you keep the water going down for a while. That's what you do, you do that because the oil ain't all the way down. So, I'm almost done. Everything is almost completed. You see? Until the next time. Oh no, I'm gonna show you the whole food. Oh no. And this is the finishing touch for tonight's dinner. The pork chops, corn on the cob. The baked potatoes. It should finish in touch. And see when I clean the stove. It finish in touch. You see my first video of making breakfast. French fries, homemade French fries, sunny side of setup eggs, with sausage and toast. Dinner, you see, we fried some pork chops. I baked some pork chops, these are just two different kinds. Then you got the baked potatoes. And then you got the corn and the cob. That's for dinner. And it's not even what time? Look at your time. You see the difference? I get up in the morning, I handle my business. I'm chocolate almond raw. I'm not even ashamed. And if any man is ashamed to get up in the morning and cook for his woman or his wives with an S, the reason why I've been saying it, I'm starting to say that because I'm finding out a lot of couples are beginning to have more than one wife. For whatever reason that's they, they, their business, it seems that it's working for them, so more power to you. You know what I mean? However your finances is, is great. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm starting to you know, you know, look, look at things in a whole different light. You know, spend some time. We spend too much time judging, and we need to look at things in a light, a whole different atmosphere. So, I'm covering my food up. That's what you see because it's. Whenever she's ready to eat, it's already there. Literally. See? I don't play games. It's literally a pork chops, your baked potatoes, like that. A chocolate almond raw. Never say the messenger don't handle his business. Never state that. Cook clean, sweep clean. Let's put it this way. Stop all that bullshit. I'm a Renaissance man. 
point blank. I do it all. You always want your wife or your wives to stay pretty. Look at my boy Floyd Mayweather. Mayweather. You notice he has a lot of women around him? You notice they contempt, contempt around him? My boy Polite. He ain't my boy per se, but you know, there's another term as my brother or the other gods. You understand? Polite. You got um, Shaka, Shaka Upmost. His wives don't like to be up in the up front. He got two wives. Polite, Shaka Upmost, Floyd Mayweather. Think about that. I'm not condoning telling you to do that. I am telling you this. For each his own, if you can handle it and be mature here in the mind, or you do your little research and find out that's how things was going on anyway. But I'm just saying this to you. For those who watch my videos. I give you insight while I'm doing the cooking. I tell you a few things. Peace.